Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name's Liz and this is Let's Get Lizical where we do everything card making. This is my July submission for the Get Creeping on Halloween hashtag from Inky and Scrappy. And I'm a few days late just because it's been like super hot. I've been very tired this week so I completely forgot that I needed to do this on Tuesday for Wednesday. But here it is anyway. I really wanted to share this with you guys. I could have just shared photos but... Um, yeah, I wanted to share the process. Um, so as I mentioned back in October, I had an idea for this, um, Dancing Grim die set from Spellbinders and I thought I could make it into a Christmas card. So I did a Halloween slash Christmas card with this. <laughs> um, what I'm doing right now is I printed out my sentiment on my computer and I'm just cutting out the insert for the inside of the card as well as the sentiment on the outside. This is inspiration from the Christmas Carol movie. This is the ghost of Christmas future and the outside sentiment I said there's still time dot 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 and then on the inside it says to have a wonderful holiday season. So it's kind of like Halloween on the outside Christmas on the inside. <laughs> Um, but what I'm going to do for the background is I'm going to take this gray panel and I'm going to ink blend some clouds with some black ink. And this just helps me from, you know, having to do two different colors. And I'm just going to do with colored cardstock, which is a good way to just like kind of speed up the process and, you know, makes it a little bit easier. Uh, so right now I'm just blending on my Lawn Fawn ink using this stencil from MFT. I think this one is still available. If not, there's plenty of uh, cloud stencils out there. And I think I even bought one at Michael's. At the top, I'm just like doing it like solid black. This is just kind of like giving it that like spooky atmosphere. I was thinking about adding in some like trees in the background and whatnot. I didn't end up doing too much. You guys know I like my plain simple cards. And now I'm deciding that this needs to be well, fixing the card base first. For some reason, the um, 110 pound cardstock I have from Michaels is a little off. Uh, so sometimes my card bases just need to be fixed. Um, I trimmed the panel down a little bit more because I wanted to add a bit of a white mat to this so that it wasn't so like blending in with the card base. I still want to leave that like border. I always love to leave borders on my cards so you'll see that I very very often almost always um, cut the panels down. I'm also deciding to add a bit of ground to this so I just cut out like a smooth curve using my scissors and I'm just going to add this to the bottom of the card and then just with some scraps and then I'm just going to cut it off so that there's a uh, ground for my little guy to stand on and the tombstone as well. So I pre-cut these all out using, again, the Spellbinders Dance and Grim dies. I have never used this with the dancing feature. I always just use this straight up as is. Um, this is like one of my favorite dies. And it's just like super cute. I love the face for it too. But when I was playing around with this last October, I was like, oh, this would be like cool to like leave that like blank inside of, so it like leaves that void because if you've ever watched Christmas Carol the ghost of Christmas future never has like a face it's always just like a dead inside the hood um just like a void so that was my inspiration for this card and I kind of like put his arm up so that he was like pointing towards the tombstone because again that's what happens in the movie and I like to do cards based on movies um, if you get this card and you don't understand the reference, then it was not meant for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just taking this tombstone from an MFT set. This one's not available anymore. Uh, I will probably do my own stamp set in, like, I think July, August next year is what I have planned. And I will make sure to include cute ghosts and tombstones for sure. Um... That was actually one of my reasons for starting my stamps, which guys, I'm getting really excited about that because I have samples now and videos will be coming soon and orders will be being placed. <laughs> um, so yeah, so if there's any 
like specific images that you guys want to also, you know, tell me what you need. What do you guys need for stamps that's not out there? What are we missing in our stashes? Uh, right now, I am missing like really good ghost, like bigger ghost images. I have a lot of smaller ones because I have the Hello Blue Bird and I have the Mama Elephant ones. And But we need like bigger ghost images, I think. And again, more tombstones, maybe some more pumpkins and stuff. I have ideas, guys. They are coming. <laughs> Um, but anyway, back to the card. I am propping up both the tombstone and the uh, grim on some foam tape just to add a little bit of dimension. And then I will add this panel straight down to the card base after. And I'm going to add some extra details as well. Uh, as you saw earlier while I was chatting, I did ink blend on the tombstone a bit too. I kind of like pounced my uh, sponge dauber on it too, just to give it a bit of texture, make it look a little bit more gritty, a little less smooth. It is a similar cardstock to the um, base that I used, so I wanted it to make it look different. I find that this black licorice ink leaves a bit of a green tinge sometimes, um, so it does look a little bit more on the green side of a gray, but uh, I was okay with that. <laughs> um, I'm going to start off using my Pothka pen, but I end up, I think, going to my acrylic ink after. Acrylic ink is always just the best. You just, you know, you need like a drop of it and then um, a dotting tool just to place, you know, some controlled snow. Um, I thought it needed it as this was kind of a Halloween slash Christmas card. <laughs> And it does happen at Christmas time, so I just added some little bits of snow here and there. And I'm gonna add a little bit more on the tombstone just to make it look like it's like the the snow's been accumulating a bit on those edges. Um, so I just like dotted extra in those areas at the top of the base and the top of the tombstone itself. I'm gonna add a few to the grim just so he doesn't look um, too out of place and just like I slapped them on there and then I also add a bit on the top of the like ground area. I didn't add any inside the hood because I again want it to look like that dark void um, of nothingness so I left that and then this it looks much better. I go over the white I think again later um, just to help it because like sometimes the acrylic ink will sink into the cardstock and absorb a bit of the color underneath it so if you want it more white just go over it again and then just to add a little bit more of a festive look on the inside I grabbed this stamp set from Alt to New and I'm just going to stamp some holly berries and some leaves around the sentiment to make it look a little bit more Christmassy on the inside. <laughs> But that's pretty much our card for today, guys. I don't have much else to say. Um, take inspiration from things around you. Again, like I love doing movies or shows that people would recognize or, you know, something that they love. Like it's a good idea. I've done it many, many times for friends and family. And I think that this is an interesting concept to kind of mix, you know, the Christmas and the Halloween together. And I will also be doing that with a stamp set next year. Just uh just a heads up. <laughs> it's it's going to be good. <laughs> Trust me. Um, but yeah, so thanks again for joining me for today, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Love to have you here. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future content. I do post every Friday. And sometimes I will post extra days here and there. Uh, especially with this Christmas in July series. I did 10 videos this month instead of four. So, you know, bonus content always comes around during the holidays or the fake holidays in July. <laughs> I'll be back again in a little bit with my regular Friday uploads. So until then, thanks again. Bye.